Hi, I'm Mary Svitan, Goodwill's home interior expert. We love Halloween at Goodwill, and not only is it a good place to get costumes, but it's a great place to find some decorating ideas. You might have seen your billboards around town, and I'm going to show you how to make some of those amazing crafts. We're going to start out with this spooky, creepy candelabra with lots of dripping wax. Okay, so I want to light the candle and get it dripping off the edge of the candelabra. I'm coating the candelabra and I want the drips to start to um, get longer and longer. I want the candle wax to accumulate. I'm going to coat every surface I can reach. The more, the spookier. Okay, so if you use a glue stick, you can kind of uh, get the illusion of a lot more dripping candles a little faster. You just want to drip it down like you would if it was a candle wax. You want all those strings because that just makes it look creepier and spookier. So just drip it, drip it, drip it. And the dripping candle wax is a lot more fragile than the, the hot glue. The hot glue strands will not break off as easily as the candle wax. So that's why you need the combination of both. So you want to get your tapers to look drippy and creepy too. So you want to put them on an angle inside your candlestick so that the wax drips down the side. And then to add some more color, drip some of your orange or you could get the black candles. Get some more drips down the side, look creepy. So the first thing you need is a two liter bottle and don't forget to fill it halfway up with water so it doesn't tip over. Then the tricky part is adhering the balloon to the cap. So be sure and tie a nice knot and then I just use some duct tape so it stays. Okay, so we want our ghost head to stand up so I'm gonna put a little tape on it. So I use two layers of cheesecloth to give it some stability and you want to drape it over the top and you want to make sure you have a lot of edge draping on the table and just cut it. You don't have to be neat because it's supposed to look like the end of a ghost. Okay, so the second layer you want to go over the, in the other direction. So you want to get some spray stiffener and you will just spray over the whole entire cheesecloth and come back an hour later and add another coat. So you want to make it really stiff so that when you remove the balloon it holds its shape. So once your ghost is completely dry, I like the finishing touch of adding some eyes. I just take a piece of felt. I like to freehand my eyes, but you can always make a pattern. I like to do an oblong shape. Little glue stick on each. And stick it right to where you think his face should be. And once the glue is dry, then you want to add a little bit of fishing line to the top so that you can hang it from the tree or inside your house or wherever you want to scare the trick-or-treaters. I picked this one because I like the lacy tool and the red, uh, red slip underneath for the nice contrast. So now I'm going to show you how to cut it up and tatter it up to make it look like a real zombie costume. I think I'm going to start with this slip underneath. It's nice and neat, but we know a zombie doesn't look that neat. So just kind of raggedly cut the edges, cut the hem. You don't want it to be neat because it's a zombie. You can cut sections out of it. Again, just be really ragged with my scissors. Do the hem all the way around the bottom. And if it rips, you know, you could try that too. It's even more of a ragged cut. I want it to look really, really worn and tattered. 
And then I want to come up a little bit higher and just take a little piece and do some slashing. And maybe you want to cut some sections out and maybe cut out some of these little flowers, lacy flowers. So the whole point is you don't want to be neat. Take a piece of tool or knitting that I happen to find at Goodwill and just kind of fold it up in sections. You just want to kind of some raggedy, jagged strips. And then we're just going to tie them onto the spaghetti straps to make it look a little creepier. So no sewing required. And tie them across each other, across the bust line. So you can keep going. Add as much or as little as you like. So now you want to take a wide piece of ribbon and just measure from your waistline across your shoulder and down your back so it fits you. And then whatever you decide to spell out, I just found some iron-on sticky letters. Just lay them out. So this is so nice and clean and white. So I just said the same thing I did with the hem on the dress. I just cut out little snippets and just kind of made it a little bit ratty. And then after I've done that to the edge, I just took some makeup out of my makeup drawer and a little bit of um, makeup, make it look dirty. So you can also find lots of accessories for your Halloween costumes at Goodwill. A crown for the zombie, I found this really funky Bristol rhinestone um, headband that's perfect for a necklace and even this little um, kitty scepter but I spray painted to make it look creepier with some grays and some copper color so you can do embellish whatever you find there and get your whole costume look. <laughs> <laughs>